space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Episode 33 of 100 Proof Geek, a weekly show where two guys and two geeks. For real though, welcome to episode 33 of 100 Proof Geek, a weekly show where two guys and two geeks just talk like William Shiner. <laughs> this week, we got some uh, interesting Star Trek themed topics for you, but before we get started, Jonathan, how was your week? It was good. I spent it watching You Star have to Trek. talk like this <laughs> with no. regular pauses. Oh, you gotta, you gotta do the Shatner voice. You. My name is... Have to introduce yourself. Jonathan Morales. Find me on the internet confused. as Pluto Charm 3. Oh, <laughs> everything. <laughs> In the internet. Okay, you guys did it for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, babe, what's going on with you, man? What's going on, guys? Well, my weekend was... Wait, wait. Well, how was your weekend, John? Oh, it was good. I spent it watching Star Trek. It was good. It was Fuck that. No, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I feel like no. yeah, it, it was good. I've been shattered in though. What? Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. It's, yeah, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we, John and I, we fucked up the flow a little bit here. I was trying to channel my inner. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, John, where, we can, where can we find you on the internet? Little Charm 3, all over. All over. All over. And how was your week? It was good. Spent it working, <laughs> watching Star Trek. I know it was the first time for you, right? Yes. How, how was your cherry first time? Pop. How how was your first time? Your, your your Star Trek cherry has been popped now. There's a lot of stuff going on in every episode. You go into a uh, new world where all these and civilizations. Where boldly, no man has yeah. gone before. You're going to new worlds and civilizations boldly. I probably did not cut you off during the actual show. <laughs> <laughs> this is just too good. Vic, where can we find you? Regan one eight three on PlayStation Nation. Oh, you didn't PS4? do the voice either, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you can't see the neck movements. Actually, you will. I'm recording. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna break his neck. Get whiplash. Nah, but <laughs> you can find me on Rego 3 on um, PlayStation Network, Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Hey, can I ask you a question? Facebook? Fe- Mi gente. Nah, no. I believe you were there. Nah. Can I, can I, ask you, I was there, but. Can I ask you a question? So, yes, you can. I've watched a lot of Star Trek in my time. Why are there no Puerto Ricans in the future? I'm because sure we don't belong in one. space. Nah, do, there was totally that one. Or do they all become clean arms? Nah, there was totally that one. What one? The doctor from... What doctor? From Deep Space Nine. He, he wasn't Hispanic? That was pretty Hispanic. Oh, that's about as close as Hispanics eh, get in the future? I'll take it. Anyway, gotcha. Dave, where can we find you? Wait, wait. What did he do for the, for the weekend? But you messed up the flow. We find each other on the internet first. Then we talk about the weekend. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You can't ruin the flow, man. Sorry. You can find me on Instagram, Pixel Dave. Wait, wait. See, I done fucked up. Pixel underscore Dave <laughs> on Twitter. Pixel Dave one. See, every, every week everybody gets shot and shit, but it's not easy to talk like a retard. Speak like this. <laughs> uh, I am Jason Pento. You can check me out on the internet via Instagram. Dramatic YouTube. pause. <laughs> what, I'm the rock rock. Uh, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, that's Jason86, J-A-Y-S-O-N-86. If anybody has passed this intro, I'll be impressed. This is a <laughs> fucking long, like, what the hell's going on? Worst train wreck intro of show. ever. Uh, yeah, Jason86 on uh, Instagram and Twitter, uh, also on the Facebooks, and the PlayStation Nation, Totally Mental, and Xbox Live, Totally Mental 1. Just remember, kids, we could totally re- re- like redo this ep- this issue. This uh, intro, but we totally aren't just because we want to give you because originality. <laughs> and it's too fucking hot to try again. <laughs> I kind of got it. This shit. Well, yeah. My, my, just, I'm just burnt out, man. This heat. Yeah, this heat's terrible. out for good uh, Shatnerin. Or, or Scotty. Scotty-in. 
But, uh, all right. So, John, how was your week? Weekend? Your days? Your hours? Your months? Uh, I started kickboxing. Get the fuck out of here. What are you kickboxing? Potatoes? <laughs> Little bag of potatoes. Uh, no, I'm going to the gym and doing yeah. it. It makes it feels like someone ripped the skin out of off of me, beat the crap out of me, plastered her back on with anesthesia. Jesus. That was after the first class. So, and that's why I don't do physical things. I just want to point that out. Don't kick box. I barely want to move out of my my computer computer chair. So no, that's a good point. Vic, well, I've been busy playing around with my new uh, TV. Ah, <laughs> 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 40-inch, 50-inch uh, HD porn. Right. 4K. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a 4K TV? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. By the way, I'm, I'm going to share Carol's nickname with Victor, Mr. Me Too. Oh. Because last week, I showed him my new TV for the first time. And Mr. Me Too showed up this week with his own new TV. <laughs> but it's all right. It's cool. I went from a 32-inch should... regular bullshit TV to a... 4K TV. I want a 72 inch HD TV. Fuck oh, yeah. 4K. 72 inch? Yeah, 72 inch. They come in 4K. So the size of your wall. I don't want a 4K TV. There's not enough content for it yet. Oh, but is it a come 4K? And you want a wall size TV? Is that what yeah. you're saying? I'm a like, big I guy like, who likes big <laughs> things. I like where his head is at, man. <laughs> I'm a big guy Wait, who likes big you, things. Wait, you want to hear my brother's What? A, a big, big guy. guy likes you are not a big guy. Like, where did you get the idea that you're a big guy? I'm a tall guy. You're not even that like tall. Hey, he's all right. Yeah. Did you? Than, I think I'm taller than both. Did you hear what my brother's next next purchase is is gonna be? He wants a bathroom TV now, so he can take a bath. He can lounge while watching TV. How big is that TV gonna be? It doesn't need to be big. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for literal watching. It's for figurative watching. And what the fuck is, oh, okay. Just never leave the bathroom. Do you have an iPhone? I mean, I have tons Samsung? of extra products I can use. Okay, in the put it in a fucking waterproof casing. Put it in a, a Bluetooth bag. speaker. That's that's oh, the, <laughs> look, look. So <laughs> that, that's a ghetto way to do it. Here's where my my brain is working, right? That's why that's why there's no Puerto Ricans in the future in Star Trek. <laughs> I've been figuring <laughs> I've been figuring out how to sign. Oh, yeah, you know what, David? How was your week? <laughs> uh, my week was pretty good. Um, pretty good, Alex. I said home over. No, no. Uh, some some 4th of the July uh, festivities. Of the, of the July. Uh, the 5th of July <laughs> pool <laughs> visiting. It was, it was it was all good. Nice yeah, weekend. 4th of July was a best weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah a little barbecuing, a little pool. Cool. No fireworks, but yeah. a lot of tan. I mean, it was there. We just didn't go see it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, I've been trying to science <laughs> this shit. So uh, I, I, I've done YouTube, a lot of different things in my day. And YouTube is is a wonderful thing because you can definitely stumble upon some amazing shit. Just like I've been told that if you start from anywhere in Wikipedia, you can end up with religion. Just saying, try that out. So you can start Wikipedia like you know Lady Gaga and end up at religion. Yeah, that's pretty cool. More, more Satanism. Well, I'm just saying, like, just you can random randomly pick something and end up like. Anyway, shut up. So long story short, is the the laptop we originally used to record this show, the monitor still works. So, I've been trying to figure out how to science this bitch and make, uh, th- there's a, adapters and pieces and whatnot that I can, I can purchase and make it a working monitor, like just a working screen, and then, you know, bathroom porn, here I come. 15 inch T, you know, bathroom porn. It's not bad. That's all I need, 15 inches. And the, you need to watch, okay, look at this right, you're, you're getting married and you need bathroom porn. Especially he's since he's getting married. Getting married means I need yeah. to increase my bathroom porn <laughs> by at least 10%. 9%. There's numbers here. 10%. What the fuck is bathroom porn? You know, I mean, I'm watching not... people fuck in the bathroom? No, no I mean, I'm not. That's bathroom No, I'm not watching people fuck while room. in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, I totally don't do this often. I'm not taking a bath in this house anymore. <laughs> I said often. Anyway. No, I mean. Come on, you never wanted to have a TV in the bathroom? No. What? What small world did you come from? My phone does everything for me. What the hell do I need a TV for? I have a waterproof case and everything. Do you do you have an arm that holds your phone that never gets tired? I, have, I don't think so. I have a wall mount that I put my phone on. Oh. <laughs> Where did you get this wall mount? 99 cent store. And it mounts to every wall? Um, it depends on the hose in the shower. He 99 cents to you. I figured it out. Car mount. Stick it to the wall. <laughs> and then now they get the really long ones. They, you know, they're super flexible and shit. 
With, with a flexible nah, line? Nah, that's only 15 inch TV. That's or something. <laughs> yeah. <I'm trying. laughs> anyway, I apologize for my, <laughs> my, out, my outbreak of pornisms. Uh, time to start the show proper. Well, so I, I'm going to let you guys know we don't intend to get much, if any, of this information accurate. In oh, fact, no. if you're a Trekkie, you might want to just listen stop to listening to the show. Yeah. Except for the Mitchell Tills, you might want to come back around, you know, I don't know, 35 minutes in. You might like what we have to say about the Mitchell Tills. Anywho, how we're going to begin by irritating you with the fact that Victor. Say hi, Victor. Hi. <laughs> and Jonathan. Hola. I was hoping somebody would say hi, Jonathan. Hi, hi Jonathan. Jonathan. They say hi, Victor. Hi, Victor. Anyway. Uh, they're not entirely too familiar with the Star Trek universe. While David and I, being big, fat, lazy guys who watch lots of TV and were tortured by some of that as kids, uh, we've come to know a bit more of the Star Trek universe. I wouldn't classify myself or him even as a Trek. No, guy. definitely not. But we know some some, some stuff. We, we've definitely not watched a lot of the series. We've seen some shit, man. <laughs> we've seen some shit. Uh, so uh, hopefully we're going to spread some of this this wealth of Star Trek knowledge to Jonathan and Victor by the time the show's over. And for you out there, if you're not a Trek fan, hopefully you will be by the end of the show. So, uh, I wanted to start off with, personally, I wanted to start with uh, Trek Tech. I, I thought of that on my own. I didn't see that online anywhere. Sure but he didn't. I, I really didn't. I was, I wrote, I wrote Trek, and I was, hmm, Tech. Just wrote them tech. And that's the most clever my brother gets. Anyway, so, a lot of a lot of people say that, you know, a lot of the stuff that we got in today's society, as far as uh, technology advancements, can be uh, traced back to the golden era of Star Trek. I don't know about Trace Back. But right, but, you know, a lot of people said that there were some influences. It's interesting to see that, that Star Trek got a lot of things right. Right. Especially since it's like... They're supposed to be in the future. To start out, it was like kind of a cheesy uh, sci-fi show. So, to see that yeah. a pretty cheesy sci-fi show got so many things right is interesting. So, so, so I, I know you guys have seen some of the Star Trek stuff. Is there anything that you you want to point out, maybe, that you think we got? Khan needs a backstory. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll touch on we're, that. we're definitely gonna get to that. Uh, no, but like uh, different things that you might have seen in the Star Trek movies, like, t- like different tech. technologies that they Technology. use, uh, that you know, maybe we, we maybe finally got. Besides touch phones, computers, um, they had next cells. <laughs> they made, they made next cells. <laughs> NASA. No, well, not that literally, but right. you know. Oh, if you're a Trekkie, you should definitely not be listening to this <laughs> episode. <laughs> You know, the Universal Translator, which Skype actually created, uh, the Skype Translator, which, you know, allows real tri- real-time Google. audio translation. Yeah. Um, you know, the medical tricorder at NASA held, like, co- a competition for someone to create it, you know, so they can diagnose blood pressure, body temperature, things like that. Just by, And, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff from Star Trek is revolutionizes, you know, the real-time science world. Ooh, so, uh, oh, Jonathan's cheating. He's got yeah, out. He, he YouTubed it. I mean, he Googled it. No, so I mean, was there anything that you uh, that you saw there that you like? Like, holy crap, we totally have that now. The te- oh no, we don't. Something that, that you didn't I was expect. Say the teleporter. I was like, wait, wait. The oh, teleporter. Wait, wait, when did that happen? I just waiting for that. We had to have a conversation. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> oh, was supposed to know about teleporter capabilities. <laughs> Places I would go. <laughs> <laughs> See, then maybe we'll use that towards the end of the show. But uh, so, teleporter is that something you want? Oh no, shit. Of course, I'd love to fucking just. Oh, I gotta go to work. Okay. I could wake up one minute beforehand, get dressed, and just tell Scotty. Scotty, beat me up. And you would still, and oh, you would still be Scotty. there. Fuck Scotty. He was never there. <laughs> you know wait, what? so Scotty was almost never there at the teleport. So wait, exactly. the concept of, of like them ripping you apart into atoms and putting you back together doesn't bother you just a little bit? Nope, as long as it gets me to work on okay. time. So I swear to God, every I, time I, I think about the teleporter, I think of that, that, that scene in Spaceballs where he gets teleported and he's like, his ass is backwards. <laughs> Why didn't everybody <laughs> tell me my ass was so big? <laughs> so I want to go ahead and interject. As being probably the only man who ever watched through the entire first motion picture Star Trek movie, it does not end well if they do not have enough juice for you, man. <laughs> like yo, they would like, they teleported some peoples, and they they ended up not being people by the end of the teleportation process. So you know what? I'll walk. <laughs> I'll walk. I, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna walk. I'll leave early enough to drive and be on time. We're in space. How are you gonna get here? I'll figure it out. Space drive. You know what's space drive. If, you know what's interesting about the teleporter? It's the future. I'm gonna get my space car. Just drive over yeah. there. The reason why they, they made the teleporter in the Star Trek series was because in, they didn't have enough money in the 1960s to actually make scenes of the ship landing on just different planets. Plus, it would have taken longer. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty cool. 
Vic, I mean, anything that you... Uh, well, besides the communication things, the reminds communicators, me of yeah. yeah, communicators, you know, like, I think they got that right, because yeah. um, you see that every day now. Yeah, you got to think about it, that's pretty impressive, that. Yeah, I talk to Jack every day, he lives in the UK. Skype is magic. Oh, I was <laughs> like, man, that's No, but you got to think that that's, that's pretty impressive, that they had... Those little flip communicators in like the early eighties or late seventies or whatever. We had flip communicators. Like yeah, but eight we, years ago. Now we have like, touch screens. Like we, eight, we but, but that's the point. Eight years ago, but this the, the first show was in the in the late seventies. So sixties even. So that's kind of impressive that in the sixties they already were thinking oh flip <laughs> we, thinking. flip phones. We didn't get that until like the late nineties. So they even had like laptops. We need we still need laser guns, yeah. transporters. They, they've got Wait, laser guns. Do beepers we, count? We need, beepers are pretty spot on as far as like quick <laughs> communication. I, I guess we need quantum fluctuations, baryon sweeps, and tachyon beams. All those things are made up. I just want to let you know those no, are the real things. Actually being, they're actually being in research by NASA. You know, everything that they had on the Starship Enterprise eventually got them in so much trouble. <laughs> or didn't work. Or had malfunctions. Do you it's have your own spot? Show. Do you have your own spot? No, you don't. Don't fuck with that shit. There are people out there I want who act like spot. Trebles? Trebles. Those little uh, oh. furball things. I thought you were talking about like the base. <laughs> base? It's all, it's all, all about, about that base. It's all about no. that base. What, what are they called? Travel. Trebles? 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 Uh, sure. The little furballs. Little furballs. The, fur- the Furbies. They had Furbies. Oh, Space saying. Furbies. They did have Furbies. I mean, uh, yeah, like, uh, you guys kind of pretty much hit on everything, but yeah, I mean, some of the stuff that they, we were able to kind of get right was pretty amazing, like uh, like the phasers. Set your phasers to you. Wait, what was what's right about phasers? We don't have phasers yet. Sun guns. Ah, uh, but that's not the same. It sure the fuck No, it's is. not, because you can turn the phasers on to kill, and you can kill a person with it. Hold that sun gun longer. <laughs> guess, <laughs> who's the, guess who's not stopping Especially me? Especially if you have a pacemaker. Yeah? Archer. Yeah? They use an archer. If you start, if you put the stun gun at a certain level, you just shot him in the chest and died. I don't. I don't know if phasers equal stun guns. Yeah, it's all the same thing. Uh, I swear. I don't well, think yeah. so. Especially since phasers shot lasers out of them. But didn't it paralyze them? I mean, all right. Let's let's evaluate what the hell a stun gun is. It is a gun that shoots that electricity. Shoots, that shoots 10, two bolts. wires. What is a laser? Electricity through a wire. Well, okay, laser, lasers, lasers are but light. They have the ones that detach that can shoot and not Okay, but, but, but lasers, lasers are light. They're creating. They're actually electricity creating, is just a friend. Speaking because of lasers, they're creating holographic lasers that when you, you can actually touch the hologram, you can feel like static. I don't want to feel static. Well, I don't want to feel that's static. Actually, I think that's on a good time to make shot. actual lasers. We need solid light constructs. Here's the problem with having. That's what they're doing with That's a different. Show no, together. that's what holograms are in the Star Trek series. Oh, I think because uh, you could touch them and feel them and shit. Solid. Yeah, but no, no, that's yeah. exactly yeah. what they're working on now: interactive holograms. Eh, I'm not, I'm Look, a, your I'm point not. just got taken to a whole nother level. I'm yeah, a, you get to touch I'm, that ass once you get fucked. I'm a little scared of the future. Actually, why do you have to go so lewd? So well, you said porn, so I'm not gonna. Follow <laughs> that was like ten minutes ago. <laughs> that, was ten, yeah, like, that was ten seconds ago. Ten, okay, ten sure. seconds. Uh, so yeah, I mean. So there, there was actually a, a doctor who was a, actually able to replicate within, I mean, you know what I mean? Sure. So he was actually able to replicate the same kind of effects that Jordy's visor had, where it allowed him to see. And so there was actually a... Uh, Jordy LaForge. From yeah, the I apologize. From the, you got to explain to Next generation, yeah. No, so, next generation. Yeah, next generation, Jordy next, LaForge. Tomato, tomato, let's go. <laughs> sure, sure. All Trekkies and he's shooting us out in the streets. Um, <laughs> so happy. Also, sure, they were actually, he was actually implanting no, uh, the show. little like uh, <laughs> chips behind um, blind mice like ears and stuff, yeah. and then, which would then allow them to actually complete uh, a maze that they can only complete by seeing. So that was pretty cool. I want to see more of that. No one, no one even touched on the fact that we have three D uh, printing for food, food printers. Well, and it's only a matter of time before we... Chocolate. Huh? Right now, they, they, that works with chocolate. Not for they, every food. They've made... No, they no, made, they they made, made pizza. Pizza, bread. They from have... From a 3D printer? From yeah. a 3D printer. From a food 3D printer. It's a different type right, of Right, right. It's a food Obviously, printer. edible food colors. Right. Right. But like... Oh, we got 3D printing. They don't got that. <clears throat> I'll just 3D print They could replicate weapons. They do. They could replicate weapons. No, they could Sure, they could. They, no, no, they... We in, in, an epi- in a bunch of episodes, they, they replicated metal and, and pieces for weapons to rebuild... We, we actually have a fully functioning 3D gun. They, that, oh, no, that no, came no, out a couple yeah. months ago. Mm. Someone print, you could print, you could just... No, I'm saying, like, in Star Trek, they, they weren't able to replicate weapons, but apparently... Now yeah. nah, we can. So they can print out sneakers. The replicators so. replicated stuff, and the food replicators... Replicated replications? And the food replicators replicated food. 
I'm gonna buy me a 3D printer, a food 3D printer, a regular 3D printer, a clothes 3D 3D printer, a car 3D printer, and a house 3D printer. <laughs> hey, can I live under your house 3D printer? Because you sound like you're gonna have a good life, and I would love to be a part How of big that. does the house 3D printer have to be to 3D print a house? I don't know. How long do you have to wait? <laughs> About four days. Or the first... Wait, four days? That's quick. It's working twenty four seven. I would assume that it work fast. Have you seen a, a 3D print? Where, when are they gonna make when are they gonna make the girlfriend 3D printers? Because I need me one of those. Oh my god, this is so weird. It's like the Japanese <laughs> What? The Japanese Car, food, clothes, Car, house, clothes, right? People. You never 3D print people. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. Stick with your pocket pussy. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't know you had one. I didn't know I had one either. Uh yeah, so I mean check tech. It, 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 honestly, it wasn't wait, wait. We're going into the future. We could 3D print shit, but I gotta have a pocket pussy. <laughs> I'm offended. Some things are just better good old fashioned. <laughs> you also have the mouse pad with the Asian girl's ass on it. You okay, okay, the, okay. You yeah. have the Asian body pillow with the anime girl on it. This is what I don't need a white fool. But this is what <laughs> he knows what it is. He I has spent one. too much time on the internet and it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. That's basically it. Oh, they didn't have the internet. Come on, they totally well, had They it. had such just communication, which is just bands of electromagnetic spectrum. You know what, though? They did not have the internet. Because not once and not once. I couldn't Google shit. They, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was just saying. They like, oh, man, we have to divert the maximum power to the lithium. Please, this captain. Not once. I was like, I, didn't, I don't think that's real. Let me Google this real quick. <laughs> like, Google we might just be blowing up the ship right now. The lithium crystals. No, that shit don't even exist. <laughs> it's not even there. For real. It's like, <laughs> True story. <laughs> Had they been able to Google shit, I think they would have gotten out of more problems quicker. But the way they communicated and got information was through subspace communication. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. I like how he's looking at the notes. He's like, subspace and Yeah, because I wrote it down. I can't remember everything. I fucking like work. <laughs> Damn well, it. Listen, I'm just saying, had they had some Google technology at the time, they would have been good money. Google but tech. But that's what they went to the whatever academy they went to. Starfleet? Star that. The Starfleet <laughs> That. And they did what there? They learned what to do in the fucking Enterprise. <laughs> Don't never forget this shit. <laughs> it may save your life one day. Shit, what do we do when we come in contact with the Borg? Google it. <laughs> but we don't have Google. <laughs> do, we, do we resist? <laughs> I think we're supposed to resist when we come in contact with the Borg. What if the Borg is what happens to Google in the future? Oh, shit. <laughs> the Borg, what to you by Google? <laughs> <laughs> the Google-powered Borg. So, the, the Borg <laughs> is an uh, alien species. Oh, well, uh, they're half tech. They're, they're a cyborg species. They're half tech, half aliens, and they assimilate everything else. So it's, I mean, they technically are alien, but and they they literally assimilate you into their like one consciousness that they have, and the way they do that is they stick probes in you and inject like nano. So that's what the aliens do in real life. Oh, what nanotechnology. Well, the Borg had it. Oh my god, I'm dying for nanotechnology. The Borg had it. The well, government's actually working on nanotechnology. Right. No, but that's what that was always saying. Are you saying. part of the government? <laughs> No, I just read. No, that. that's what we're saying. The, the the Borg is 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 an enemy you haven't met yet because you haven't watched like Generation. Because you're a hundred light years away. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm but season one of Star Trek. Star Trek, Trek, they get into the Borg, and the Borg are like these. Uh, the best way to explain it is is robot cyborg, uh, bastards people, <laughs> and but they go from, they go from planet to planet, and they just take everything, taking all, like all different species in, and they turn them all into cyborgs that all are controlled under one mind. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> but they used, like, nanotechnology to do it. And this came out in the early 90s, like, the first concept of the Borg, which is funny because now we still don't actually see them actually talk about nanotechnology being a real thing. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, and don't, a little bit. Don't forget I'm going to be the first one to rip an arm off and get now a nano arm. Like, yeah, shoot shit from my arm. Shoot shit from my arm. I think they don't want you ripping your arm off, John. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like, hey... Kind of lost his arm in a battle. I'll just donate it yeah. to the people who don't have one. Why wouldn't they just get a nano, <laughs> Why nano wouldn't they just arms? get a nano arm? So you want to take afford it? <laughs> but they can afford a real arm. Because well, Jonathan can cheaper. because <laughs> house car TV, right house car TV clothes, the whole three D printer. He's gonna get a he's got a nano Ooh. arm three D printer. Yep, I'm gonna be the fucking realtor, the three D house realtor. <laughs> you want a house? Three D house. Pay me eighteen thousand dollars for it, and then people can use your arm to sign off on contracts because yep. it's nanotech. Yep, then just pop like some hard drive and download it and good. He's got this whole thing planned out. I'm a little afraid. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, I need this song. 
I need to just what? download that shit. Yep, but you see, I, I don't have any headphones. I'm like, yep. <laughs> That's the song he would do. That's the first song you listen to? Of no, course. No, the first song I'm listening to is I Hate My Job uh, by Jamie Dubs. It's okay. an actual song. And then the third is it'll be like, It's raining, man. No, I don't know. I, I got one. It's raining, man. It's raining, man. <laughs> Why do you have to go straight to that song, though? You did go straight to I'm Coming Out. That's yeah, I did. Is there something that you want to tell us? You're straight? You fucking liar. I want to say, what, <laughs> what more could he tell us? You liar! I know I you're know. too straight to be gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> too gay to be straight. Never mind. Uh, uh, don't forget about touch screens and uh, tablets. tablets. I love my service. Yeah, I, I mean, but it's love. something you saw in Star Trek is that they were walking around with these little, little bloop, 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 bloops. tablets that they would, you know, put information in on. And be careful, man! I might sue you for saying that they invented it. But in the original Star Trek, you see them fucking swiping it on a box tablet. It's kind of like it's, it's hey, not like the flat ones. The first today. tablets were huge. It's, yeah, the first heavy. tablets were actually came. They looked like a briefcase almost. That's how big it was. And that should suck. I remember my first tablet was the Adam tablet from Notion. It goes about like maybe a half an inch. We discussed about your make believe tablet. It didn't exist. <laughs> Notion Inc.? Nope, didn't exist. Anyway, it's time for the Mid Show Toast. Already? It is time Dang. for the Mid Show Toast. So, um, I wanted to give a special shout out to someone close and near and dear to our hearts. Jean Luc Picard. Oh, Jean Luc. Jean Luc. <clears throat> Best damn store fleet cla- captain ever. You know, they never really say Picard. It's yeah, only no, Jean Luc. Jean Luc Picard. No, 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 no. It's almost always Jean Luc. Like, Nah, John Luke was good. You know what we're talking about. I mean, some people would just say Picard. Captain Picard, of course. No, some people would just say Picard. Okay. Or some people would just say John Luke. They ran on the Look, whole thing. I didn't go through so many years of Starfleet Academy to not be called Captain. <laughs> nah, Could you I'm imagine, Captain. like... It, listen, if I was so badass enough that everybody just knew me by my first name, I'm with it. Lecu- you mean Lacutus of the Borg. Oh, you forgot about that. When he becomes a Borg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't. Know, I don't remember his name. Anyway, Patrick Stewart, someone who's also very near and dear to our heart. He was the guy who plays Jean Luc Picard. He uh, has a birthday today, Monday. Woo! And so does Jean Luc Picard. Yeah. So Patrick Stewart's birthday is nineteen forty. It makes him seventy five today. And Jean Luc Picard? Well, he's just old as shit. No, he's in the future. I mean, I don't know. You know, has he been born yet. yet? But his birthday will be uh, July thirteenth as well. 2,308. It's kind of cool they have a birthday on the same day. A couple of hundred. <clears throat> couple of hundred. couple of <clears throat> centuries apart. Not because they're the same person either. <laughs> anyway, toast. There you go. Nice little click clank right from the microphone. So, uh, as we move on to our next topic. I was wondering, uh, since you guys did have a chance to see some of the old stuff and, um, a little, and the new movies, you know, the remakes... I mean, what, what are your thoughts on it? What, do you, you know, what did you What did you like, if anything, from the originals? Was something that you wish you would have got more of, or didn't get, or Star Trek like noobs? Uh, maybe there's something we can clarify for you else. I'm just gonna go and say I'm sorry to all you Star Trek fans. Oh, they're not listening. They, they, the Star Trek fans turned off. A <laughs> they lot turned off like, like two seconds in, or they're all like taking all the notes they can so they can yell at us. The later. old shit is dreadful to get through. It's boring. Those are strong words. Dreadful. Nah, I've never, I've never heard him use a word so like so eloquently. <laughs> dreadful. It was just like, yeah, it's so it's gruesome. Just... It's so hard to get through. It's so boring. I guess it's because of the time. Gruesome. It's gruesome. No, no, it's just boring. I it's think just... the gruesome was in reference to how bad it was. Yeah, how time. bad it was because it, it was horrible. I guess it's because of the time. Mm, mm. I didn't enjoy none of the old stuff. Right. Like the concept was cool. So then you didn't time. enjoy it. No, yeah, it's okay. I didn't enjoy it. I... Because, yeah, you know, I guess negative. it was because of the time. Right. But the new stuff, right. like, um, it's a, the darkness. Star, um, Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek, darkness. Yeah. yeah. Those were pretty good. I actually enjoyed those, and I will, if they come out with more of the newer type. They are. I will continue to watch it. Right. The old stuff? Not so the much. The old stuff? <laughs> yeah, how about that? No, I, I got a, a, as someone who's watched almost every series except right. for the first one. So is there I'm nothing about any of the old material that you didn't like? So, like, uh. I know, like, the very first series, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Then, then there was, terrible. like, uh, Next Generation. Did you watch any of those? Were you not a big fan of that? I remember watching it as, as I was a kid. You younger? Um, so, you just got bad memories then. I remember watching some of the stuff. I remember right. seeing the the guy with Worf? the fucking... Yeah, with Worf? the, the Worf? droid. 
Yeah, Man, you're making up so much yeah, stuff. Like, you just fuse like five characters. War, just say Worf. <clears throat> Worf, him, yeah. whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> whatever the um, fuck his name is. I remember seeing a few of those things that they had, um... What's the names? Worf was a clean arm. The clean arms, yeah. <laughs> yep. What's the anyway, thing? Jonathan, what did you like about the original? He, he just made a V over his head. What's the thing? What I like about the original Star Trek is I'm watching the original Star Trek from 1968. Which, God bless your soul. It's yeah, because even I'm not that crazy. The, every episode is coming completely random. They The first episode, I forgot what planet they're on. They go in, and these people have, like, I don't know, telekinesis. And they make your wildest dreams come true, but they want to enslave humanity. And make them work on their um, technology because they don't know how to use technology. Am I working or am I having all dreams coming true? Um, there's a woman there who's apparently an illusion that she looks pretty, but in reality she died from uh, some fucking space wreck. So and they just made her look pretty to everyone else. Yeah, pretty much. They, they, they. What she explained was that at the end of that episode, they took all her bits. And because they didn't know what a human looked like. Wait, did you say took all her, her bits? Yeah, because she was. <laughs> Give me the bits! Give me the bits! Yeah, they tried putting it, they put it back together. They didn't oh, know what a human that's terrible. Like. I don't so even want to know. She had a hump and everything, but with their illusion, she looked like she was beautiful. But she was dead. No, she was alive. They took her bits. After having been dead. Yeah. I Don't ask me. That's how Star Trek Star Trek sucks. That's in the first episode. <laughs> They That's took good shit. her bits. On the fifth episode, <laughs> I'm good. one of the crew, they go through some electric magic. I bet Kirk hit that too. And two of the crew members had like godlike powers, and Kirk had to uh, persuade the psychologist who turned into like a she god to tell her, you know, the. the, the you mean the a goddess? This guy's going fucking crazy. Huh. A she god. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible in theory. It sounds pretty it's bad. Not, but if, if they nah, remade she it, it, that sounds pretty bad. She god sounds like fun. If they remade it, it'd be better. But for the time that this came out, I guess this is as as good as bad acting would go. <laughs> as good as bad acting would get you. I think it's as good it's as like, you could afford. It's, like, it's so bad that I'm pretty sure if we get a pair of laser guns, like the toy ones you can buy in Toys R Us, we can we make can a better play, yeah. scene. Yeah. And we're all fat as the section of Jason or Jonathan. Challenge accepted. Right? I feel, <laughs> I feel challenged now. Like, maybe we should do that. Um, and also, Khan. They need to clarify a story. Up because in now the you're talking about Khan, the movie, though. No, in the, yeah, in the Wrath of Khan. Right. He talks about, uh, Chekhov talks about him being a prince. No, Khan explains to Chekhov he was a prince once and that um, he ruled over hundreds. And into darkness, he just talked about his crew. There's no backstory, there's no nothing. They need to clarify there is how no, he, him he and his 70 it. crew members but, were like, cryo, how they were but, caught, cryogenically frozen they, for more than 200 years. But, 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 they but, but there is they backstory it, in Into Darkness you know, that they um, made him to be like a weapon. He, and the, and the, it, was, it was like it was like during, right. it was like a few years from now from our time where they they created they created these these genetically modified people to be stronger faster smarter etc and they were supposed to be used to to fight wars and whatever what ended up happening is that they banded together and said fuck this we will end all wars by being the NLB so they totally like matrix the shit and should, they were like trying Did to take they over. Did they that in Into Darkness or yeah. the Wrath of Khan? Because Into Darkness, it's dark. No, no, not, not Wrath of Khan. Wrath of Khan was a rather obscure <clears throat> movie. No, Into uh, Darkness. They try to exp- they they don't go into like a whole deeply, but they explain that right. like in, in in the past in like around our time they right. created genetically modified people, which was and Khan and his folks. Okay. They were supposed to be used as weapons, but then they decided screw so this, we no, can take over because we're better, we're smarter, stronger, faster. So and they kind of took over. And then they would put, and then, I guess, I guess all us normal humans band together, band to together, cryogenically freeze them. and cryogenically freeze them until this idiot decided to let Khan free to try to use him to create that big right. ship. At the spoilers, by the way, just gave away the entire story of the movie. The movie's a couple. But wait, in the rest of time, <laughs> they were they you they. I don't remember hearing anything about Genesis in the and the into Dark Genesis Earth. was part of was Wrath of Khan only. It was Wrath of Khan. Oh, okay, because can I cook like that thing. or can't I? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> He's stupid. That was uh, it. Was pretty though. But y'all saw right now. Yeah. He was a genetically enhanced person. That's yeah. another thing that we do right now. Now you can pick with the sex of your baby. You want a baby? You want a boy? You want blue eyes? You want blonde hair? Got it. As long as I don't get a victor. Twenty-five thousand dollars, bitch. So that's another thing that we that you know we. So got. long as I don't get a victor. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's that's unique. Something. That's unique. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's keep it unique. unique. <laughs> so <laughs> it's unique. Are you, you gonna get a better about? Into Darkness versus Wrath of Khan. I liked Into Darkness because of all the action, the graphics. Wrath of Khan, all the shit back in the day is just... 
horrible. The way these actors jump when the ship is <laughs> supposedly shaking. <laughs> so I mean, that was like that's one of the like the coolest things that I've uh, been able to read up on was that like that was they couldn't figure out how to film it well without like really messing with the cameras and such, and so everybody had to pretend jump shot like get hit. And like you see it in like in like especially in the first motion picture movie, like you see them and like oh, we're about to get hit, and everybody's like brace for impact, and then they like they grab onto something, yeah, you know, and then they just start shaking, and like <laughs> you know, it used to make me wonder because I I never watched the the original like nineteen sixties uh, Star Trek, but I got into it on Generations, yep. and I always wondered like how slow are these missiles that you yeah. can have you have time to say brace for impact. Like, they're supposed to be photon missiles. I mean, these things should be driving, like, flying fast through space. And you're like, wait, it's coming. Everybody, brace for impact. Uh, and now. Ah! And this is that, though. My, my question <laughs> is, how many people were actually hurt by being fake hurt? Because, like, there are plenty of scenes. You got people, like, diving over, the, like, the chairs where the captain sits, which is, like, in front of, like, this railing and shit. Like, I saw one with this dude jumped over, landed on the captain chairs. Thankfully, no one was in the captain chairs. And, like, hit his side a little bit. Like, you see the dude wince a bit, but then he's like, wait, they're recording? So he rolled off and just, like, Ugh. But, like, I'm pretty sure he was rubbing his side, like, after the end of that scene. You know what I always wondered? You ever see the scenes in the in the series where, because <clears throat> every all the action always happens on the bridge, but then some, some episodes you'll get some action off the bridge. Right. Where, like, a bulkhead would explode, and then they have to block off this area with shields. How many people... Like, like non-essential crew members. Do you have just freaking dying on this ship all the fucking time? I wouldn't even want to be on a Star Trek, sh- on, a, on a Starfleet ship. Well, oh, we I have, mean, we have 20 openings in, in the Enterprise. No, I'm good. I'm, okay. I'm just stay over here on Earth. Well, I'm fine. So to answer that question though, as long as the shields are working, you're good to go. <clears throat> no, no, but, but they would, cause like the bulkhead would explode. So like. Yeah, no, like, no, well, no, but. In the future stuff, they had shields that were automatically sealed to prevent people from flying out. Right, but you would still see some episodes where people would go flying across the screen and, and like. Breaks. Like, I wouldn't even want to. I'd just be like, no, I'm good. Um. That's kind of like taking a position that Jurassic Park. <clears throat> also, every ship is more powerful that than the than Enterprise. Yeah. And Enterprise is supposed to be like the flagship of the of Star Trek. not there yet. Like, you, you, oh, we've got a clean up. Vertib- ship made me laugh. It's like, oh, no, we cannot run it. The ship is better. That's a, what was it, a fighter? A uh, heavy cruiser. Either way, that ship was like five times the size of the Enterprise. It was like, oh, look. That's kind of bullshit. Oh, look, it's the clean odds. Yeah, let's run. Oh, yeah, look, it's the Romulans. Yeah, let's run. Well, isn't like the prime directive not to fuck with other aliens? But if they fucking with me, I want to fuck them right back. Oh, I want to look. I want to Kirk them. I'm going to Kirk them all over the place. <laughs> Just make sure you find the right hole for that. You know, you know, you know how the, there's like maneuvers and, and people get maneuvers. He's pulling the Kirk. Maneuver? Oh, the Kirk maneuvers. You just fuck every alien you find. <laughs> <laughs> you said like it sounded like a what was it called the uh, the cow um, the snipper on the front of the trains. <laughs> you put a giant dildo. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's ready to embrace his Kirk maneuver. <laughs> Mm. John John earlier was saying that he was imp- he, he like he was like where the hell did uh, that Kirk had a son and he's like where the hell did he yeah, come from? Yeah, son, like That's Kirk how he's been fucking every every alien race that he finds since, since the original show. I mean, the original show shouldn't have been to seek out and find new worlds and civilizations. Seek out and fuck, seek out and fuck new worlds and civilizations. I know in the Into Darkness, um, they showed a scene where Kirk was sleeping with two cat women, literally cat women. Hey. I, I guess so. They I both had cat tails, cat ears, cat spots, and they were they were good to go. I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, <clears throat> oh, he's with the Green Church too. His son is now in the Guardian of the Galaxies. Uh, he's trying to make the joke that he's trying to bridge the gap. He's trying to bridge a gap that ain't there. <clears throat> Store Lord. So David. Yeah. <laughs> um, which was your favorite Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> we were on a funny roll, and then Victor ruined it. Oh, we were on a high like that. We're sitting here like, yo, we gotta make this shit last an hour. <laughs> Fucking Victor. <laughs> So, like, what was your like? What was your favorite Star Trek though? Like, what do you look? Movie like or, or series? New, uh, let's well, let's just stick with the movies for now. Old and new. Um, and let's let's, let's be realistic. Let's not also forget that the Star Trek movies came at a time where there was no more Star Trek. Can we um, can we say can we say that? I'm sorry, I know what you're about to say that yeah. the Star Trek motion picture right. started when it, it was, was ten. It they, was ten yeah. years later from when the show ended. They were on like a <laughs> long ass. They were on like something. Like, I think it was like a three year roll or something like that. They were on like a strong roll, and it came out just about <clears throat> ten years total since the last episode of the show. So for the people who had come to love this, they're like, 
I don't give a fuck what it is or how bad. I just want it. So with that said, I mean, can you? I, but that's the thing. They've remade a whole bunch of things. You know, Batman's being remade like crack. Superman. Wait, are they remaking crack? And I've not been made aware. Obviously, <laughs> everywhere. Chocolate Spider- crack. New crack on the block. <laughs> Yeah, but they're, they're remaking everything. Spider-Man, No, no, but, but what he's trying to these, say is like, franchises. like the original series, the ones that you, you were watching, you hate so much. It's not that I hate them. That, I like the ideas. They're original. It's just right. like the acting and the camera. Oh, it's, it's cheesy and, it's, and terrible. It's shitty. Right. I understand that it would be like expensive because of all the graphics they would have to It, it would have been impossible at the time. Right. Yeah, okay, so let me, let, me put it, let me put it in a way that you might be able to relate to. So, did you ever watch Batman the Animated Series? Yes. Okay, so Batman the Animated Series got a strong run, and that shit was amazing. But when the show ended, they were like, man, we shouldn't have ended it just yet. And then he came out with the uh, the Phantom, uh, Phantom something, where it's... it's right, the movie. The right, Phantom, the, right. First, like, the first animated series movie. Batman, the Phantom, and, whatever. And honestly, as a kid, especially as a kid and as a fan at that time, I didn't give a fuck. Give me this movie. I need to see it. I, I need to know what's going to happen. Right? Because it was more Batman than I loved. So for the people who, who had fallen in love with Star Trek, they were like, screw it. I don't care how bad... Vigors is as a freaking enemy. That's the main enemy in the first one. I need to see this movie. So is there any way that maybe we're just being harsh? Maybe. Or that maybe, should really just suck. Maybe in like, just like being looking at it af- way after the fact, maybe, but well, today's I gotta say the first store track up until, and I don't even know which number this is, Generations. Right. I, it was just terrible. I like Generations. Generations are right. From Generations on, it was okay. Generations is still kind of meh. Yeah, but... If I'm going to look at the first one and compare it to, to everything from Generations On, I'd prefer Generations On. Right. Because yeah, everything before that was better. terrible. The acting, the acting, the acting <laughs> is better in Generations. I mean, this, I'm M1 looking for, what was it? What, what was it? I'm looking for a nuclear sub. <laughs> like, when, um, like, he's looking for, I was yeah. like, this is terrible. Like, but, the computers actually look like computers in the next yeah. generation. I mean, like things look more high tech. I mean, it, so, I mean but in the third movie, they literally went back in time to save whales. I don't even know. Or dolphins or whatever. I was just like, I don't, I can't even touch this. I think I skipped that one. Yeah. Isn't that the rule? Mm-hmm. Skip the odd ones? Skip the odd ones. Watch mm-hmm. only the even ones. But, um, so, honestly, I, I think that, see, I, I watched Wrath of Khan. And it wasn't horrible. It's just like, you know what it was? It, it, it's looking back on a time that we weren't a part of. And it was like, why was Khan and his whole crew... In a fucking hair bag. Did he not piss I you? I didn't understand that. Did he not piss you off every time he screamed Khan? Khan! Well, I didn't like show that one good time. Yeah, it did. It was, I, really it awesome. it was annoying. Yeah, I was like, you, but you see it like yeah. you see it from the ship, and then it goes out to like the planet, <laughs> and then it goes out again. Like what? <laughs> the shot that was like around, around the world. Screen. But um, you, you know, it, it's just honestly like the Star Trek shows. I don't think stand up. What are you talking about? The movies. The movies. I don't think they stand up in time. <laughs> Overall, like I've been trying to watch some of the stuff it's and like kind of like ones. relive that. The new ones, like, the new ones done by well, the new, well, yeah, well, JJ are yeah. very good. But that, I mean, because that's so now, right? There's a lot of tech now. Well, you know, I, I think I think what we miss about the story, or we don't realize fully about the Star Trek movies and the shows, is that it's about space and space travel and meeting new uh, aliens and shit like that. But it's not about fighting them. It's not about fighting for you know. About how cool the ship really looks. So exploration. It's literally yeah. about we're gonna go out on this tiny ship into the middle of space, and we're gonna meet some new aliens and make friends. And, and then maybe they them. don't want to be friends, and then we might have to protect ourselves from them, but we're not gonna kill them and fuck them. You know, and that's like that was like the first show, and then it got a little bit more edgy with the with every right, iteration right. after that. But it was it's always a little cheesy because you see the captain on the bridge, and that's where everything, everything happens. happens yeah. You so, know, so with the newer stuff out right now, the movies and stuff like that. I don't know if they're planning to make another TV show out of it, but if they do, would you entertain it? Yes. Uh, they actually are talking about doing another TV show called TV show called Renegades, and yeah. it's supposed to be a little bit more edgy and a little bit more like we'll go to planets and meet aliens on planets and do things and that them. like <laughs> like try to you know like try to blow up this and get away from that and do this. So things that take place off the bridge and off the ship. Because you know, like like watching the newer stuff, right? I think I would entertain it, maybe for the first three so, episodes, if it piques my interest. Right. Then I'll continue watching. So I don't know if, it, if, it's, if it's the cast or the amount of budget that's put into these movies versus like, yeah, versus like being on a TV show. I think that they tried they to They had like a them. show with Enterprise, right. which was before they actually... So they, they've already made like, content with other aliens and whatnot. Well, and they, Enterprise came out, out there well, a bit. Enterprise came out at the end, but it was supposed to be like a prequel type yeah. of thing. Right. So Enterprise is like the show that's just before the new movies. 
Um, I mean, when I say just before, like that's it's relative because it came out several years ago. Long story short is that Enterprise is like a mix between being on Earth and having a lot of stuff happen here on Earth, and then some things happen in space, and they got that weird cross between because they still haven't completely abandoned Earth just yet. Like, well, they don't abandon Earth, but you know, I mean, like well, not fully just, get away from right. that. They don't fully get away from Earth just yet, so you got that that weird hybrid of stuff's happening here still. And you can still see some things in Earth, but then you know stuff's taking place, you know, far, you know, far and away while they're in space and whatnot. So, I don't think so. I think I think the problem with, with, with Star Trek has always been they always try to be over sciencey and they make shit up as right. they go. So they make up fake sci- like pseudoscience. So it sounds like it could be real, like photon uh, bombs and right. you know tachyon rays and like it sounds like that could be a thing. And scientists, I guess, because they've watched enough of it, end up actually using those words for to explain yeah, actual right, things they're doing right. now. But when when those things were first coming out, there was no tachyon right. pulse and blah blah like all that shit wasn't made up. <clears throat> so deflector so, array, I, I, deflector array, you know, like I think Lip they the do they, like they focus a lot on the science and being on the on the on the the bridge of the ship and what the what the main crew like not the main crew but the uh, older part of the crew like. The commander, the captain, right, right. the, the lieutenants, staff. the senior staff do on the ship. Right. And you kind of lose some of what you see in other shows, like um, uh, the show with the toaster heads, fracking, um, Babylon, yeah. not Babylon. Uh, toaster heads. Caprica? Cap- yeah, but what's the one? Firefly? Not Firefly, Caprica, the, the one that came before, the show that came before Caprica. Caprica oh, is supposed oh, to be, oh, 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 Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar yeah. Galactica. But Battlestar Galactica. Toaster had sick me, I was like, man, yeah. that's a tough one. I love Caprica. The Cylons. Yeah. No, but, but, I want to Battlestar Galactica. Galactica, they do a lot of the stuff on the ship, but it's not just about what's going on on the bridge, it's about what everybody on the ship is doing and flying right. out and fighting the Cylons and going to the planet. And I think Star Trek misses that because they right. focus just on what senior staff is doing on the bridge. Yeah. It's like if Fuck we, everyone else. It's like if we, to, if we told a story about people at sea in a battleship, it'll be everything that's happening on the bridge right. and nothing about what's happening right. on the ship. Yeah, I mean... And it yeah. makes it a little boring. Well, like, I, that's a, little, a good question. I don't think I'd be able to watch another Star Trek But based on my research of Star Trek, a lot Not of like that has to do with anyway. budgeting. A lot of that has to do with solely on budgeting. Of course. Right, right. With the you can only do what you... Yeah. yeah, the graphics yeah. available. That's, that's what I, I said earlier. They but, didn't You know, that's still part of the problem with TV, though, is that TV's still, I don't think, taken serious enough where... Well, the, not, not the, the money internet's is more used than the TV. Well, right, what I'm saying, but I don't think there's still oh, enough I, money I think, poured into I think money television. is, I think TV's being taken seriously I think, now. I think you see a lot of shows. More, okay, I'm, and I'm sure because, you know, Guillermo del Toro, that's just kind of his, his style of things, but The Strain. The main bad, like, the main bad guy in The Strain looks really fucking shitty. They could have did better percentage. Right, but I think, cooler. but I think but that's I think the just style that del Toro, del Toro thing, goes for. Overall, like, I don't know. I think there's some shows that, that come out and they're really well done and whatnot. Some things, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess you, you don't honestly wouldn't spend that movie budget yeah. on a TV show because no, you wouldn't they, do a movie. You had Constantine now, and Constantine, Constantine seemed like a Constantine really was good solid. show. Yeah. So I, I think you could see good things being brought to right. TV, is whether or not they want to dedicate it. And Star Trek would have to change the way it's written, and I think there are too many Trekkies that like the super, super pseudoscience right. uh, boring take. I, I'm sorry, I find it a little bit boring. Even though I like this, some of the series, it's like, oh. Every episode is these guys staring at the screen on the bridge, right. going, "Wait, but blah 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 blah." Yeah, we can fix it. We did this. So, by Put the way, him on mute so I can talk some shit about him while he's not paying attention. Th- by the way, and Victor, I'm sure you can, <laughs> you can relate to this. Back when I used to have to deal with uh, cell phones and like technical services and things of that nature, whenever a customer would come in, like, "Oh, there's something wrong with my phone." I'm like, "Oh, let me talk to the technician real quick." I would go back, <laughs> shoot the shit for a little bit. I'm like, "All right, hold on." And I would come back. I was like, "Yeah." Uh, there is something wrong with your flux capacitor, so we have to order you a new flux capacitor. <laughs> so, you know, nothing I can do about that. And that's how I kind of feel when I watch some Star Trek episodes. It's like, well, we did this, and it would deflect that, and we increased the power. And it was like, wait, they're like, uh, engineering, do you understand what she's saying? If no, think, you're being really if, if I'm on the same page I think she is, I think this might work. I, I, I don't know. know. I would love one episode where Scotty no, just drove like shit face, being like, Captain, I don't know what the fuck is going on. This bitch is crazy. Well, well, lithium, we're just going to make some lithium crystals and toss them in the, in the, in the generator and see what happens. Just gonna, <laughs> well, I know she can't take no more. That's all I mean. <laughs> she can't take no more. So, old and new, and would you entertain uh, a new Star Trek TV show? I would, because in today's time, everything has to be dramatic. And... <clears throat> Star Trek when it was made it was made for that time so at that time it was popular right. that was all the rage now it's not so much we see it as boring because of all the 
things we're used to. We're I used to seeing that high intense graphics, right. really good acting, and just top notch everything. So if they redo it, I would. I it would be a great. It would be. A, it would be a hit. No doubt in my mind, it would be. And then, so you, I know you're a, you're a new fan, right? New yes. Brazil, Vic. Well, again, I apologize to all you tech, Star Trek. Techies He's gonna say techies. 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 techies yeah. Sure. At this trekkies. point, I don't think it's Star Trek. He's whatever the fuck y'all called. Star Trek. Star Trekies. Are, are those the puppets? <laughs> this is why you get dick pics. But you know, <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. But you know, like the old shit sucks. The new stuff I really do the like. Oh shit sucks. And yeah. um I wouldn't mind a show. A show. I I'll probably give it a shot. Um I don't know how the hell that some of the old memorabilia from the show went for thousands of dollars, people buying it. Collectors Blows my you. mind. All right. David, old new and would you entertain the new uh, show? you know, again, I guess I guess to, to, to these guys over here, what what I what I like would be old. Right, but I don't like the the, the really old stuff. It, I I got you like them in between, in between, starting from like about the middle on for for both the show and the the, the, movies. the movies. Right, um, and I don't think it's just 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 the graphics or anything. Uh, certainly, that's some that that makes it boring. Right, but I think it's the terrible writing, the terrible acting. It's like I think that's part of what makes Star Trek what it is. Because maybe maybe now because we look back at it and it's kind of funny to make to poke fun at it. Right, but not because it's interesting in any way. Gotcha. You know, so, so even the movies. So I'm, I'm definitely from like the middle on. So you're a little bit, a little old, you're right? In between. A little older than these two. And then would you entertain a new TV show? Oh yeah, I I think Renegade would be. Co- I've actually followed a little bit on it. Right. It's supposed to follow after Voyager, and it's supposed to have like, uh, at least one or two members from the cast. I, I know definitely one member from the cast is going to play the same character in Renegade, and right. I think it's. It, I'm waiting to see how they how they do it. If they're going to rewrite uh, Star Trek for once and give us something a little bit more interesting than just. We're gonna shout some science at a screen while we get while we act like we're getting bombarded by bombs and right, shit. Right. So this guy right here acts like he's a lot older than me. I'm not saying I'm a lot older than you. It's just that I've been a geek longer than you. I've watched mm. more shit than you. I give you that. I give you that. I'll concede this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Got that one. But you know, like, <laughs> just, the age oh, we're let me, similarly let me, close in age. Let me rephrase. We might be the same age, but I'm a bigger geek. He's an older. Oh, geek. Oh yeah, you're an older geek. <laughs> But um, in so geek yeah. years, I got like <laughs> light years. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, I mean, uh, I kind of like some of the, some of the some of the old stuff. Not much of it. Like uh, honestly, there there are a couple episodes that are really good. Like the Borg episodes where they you know they interact with the Borg and the episodes with Q, which is like Q is this omnipotent, entity. omnipotent. Yeah, omnipotent. He's, he's also omnipotent. He's very potent. Sure, potent. Uh, <laughs> he, but he's he's this he, he's this entity that he can. He's pretty much a god. Uh, there's a whole race of them, and they're able to kind of like show up whenever the fuck they want, dick around, give people a hard time, and then leave whenever they want. So those episodes actually add kind of a not just comic relief, but it's kind of like, all right, here's this jerk again. Let's just we're, we're kind of bullshit. bullshit. Gonna is he gonna is he gonna kill all of us or let us go? Right. Yeah. With like you know some which, comic which event, is, which is cool though because uh, the next cool. generations where you see Patrick Stewart as as Jean Luc Picard, the first episode is with him, and he's like a real scumbag. Like, he's a real asshole. In the first, not episode. Patrick Stewart, not Q. Patrick Stewart. Q. He puts him. He puts the human race on trial, and the um, and the Starfleet staff, the enter of the Enterprise, are required to kind of like prove why they deserve prove to be why, alive. Right, why they deserve to live. And that's a whole, you know, two episodes. That's an hour and change of of Q banter and back and forth. So it was pretty good. And I, and I um, love how how Picard never has time for his shit. He's yeah, like, yeah. look, he's always like, oh, Q. I, I really got no fucks to give today. Could you leave me the fuck <laughs> alone, please? But um, as far as like the shows. A lot of the episodes really don't stand up. A lot of stuff is really obscure. And at the end of every freaking show, they dick around with time. I don't know <laughs> why they have to dick around with time, but they do. Well, you they know, always screw around with time travel, and it kind of... Sometimes it's a little bit cool. Sometimes it's a little frustrating. I, I just want to toss this in there, because I know probably none of you guys realize this. They actually created... They had, like... They they did so many time travel storylines and yeah. throughout the entire series that they had to create... A whole section of Storefleet dedicated to going back and fixing time travel, time travel fuck ups that these crews do. That's kind of cool. And there's and there's one there's one series one episode in like uh, Voyager where the guy is like put a Storefleet time travel thing to correct mm-hmm. uh, anomalies, and he's like Voyager. It's always Voyager. I fucking hate Voyager. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. But um, as far as like the new stuff, I would like to see <clears throat> a new a new Enterprise. I don't care what you call the show. I don't want it to be characters that I've seen before. I would like to see a whole new cast. 
I would like to see some some new you know new blood added to the uh, TV show. If you heard Gene what they Poole. were going with, I think it's a pretty cool right, idea. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure Renegades is gonna be cool. The name is it gives oh man that's gonna be interesting. But uh, at the end of the day though, it, kind of like what Jonathan wants with Khan. Like I would like to see some of the stuff retconned where I can say all right. Well, I know some of the backstory of what happened here, and I know why Kirk was fucking these green chicks, and it doesn't have to be, again, I don't want it to be necessarily just, like, the Kirk and his crew, and then another new Spock and whatnot. I would just like to see the next iteration of the Enterprise, and just have all that stuff kind of be in their own universe, a part of where the movies are now. You know, let the movies end, the, they, got, they just ruined the fourth one, let the fourth one end, and then just do TV shows based out of what the four movies have given you to work with. And go from there. Because there's a lot of cool stuff that's happened in the two movies so far. Yeah. You know, yeah. we've ruined the entire Into, Into Darkness movie, so might as well ruin the first one. Mm-hmm. But um, it, there's a lot of cool stuff that happens in, in those movies. I'd like to see expanded on into the TV, into a TV show world. Um, old versus new as far as movies, it, it's a tough call. I, think I, I really do I really do love the new stuff because it it, it provides a nostalgia for the fans of the, of the original stuff. Even people who, have, who are able to call reference to that, like David and I. But it also adds and gives you stuff to work with going into it. Um, the way that uh, Leonard McCoy, Bones, just to answer your question from earlier. Yeah. But the way that he always has like these weird fucking Damn ways it, of saying things. He's like, you just set a, you just set a man at a high poker, a high stakes poker seat with no cards to play. And he's like, I don't get it. Just tell me what you mean. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Like it's cool because it gives you those references. It makes you like, you know what? I may not have been around for the original stuff, but I can relate because this is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So, I guess with that in mind, we'll move on to our final topic. And this will be our uh, wrap-up topic as we've come to, come to be able to do. Uh, but come what to be able to do. Yeah, we've we come to be able to do that. <clears throat> uh, what about Star Trek continues to grow the fandom? So, I think that it's, it's no surprise as Trekkies still exist, they will continue to exist, and it's something that continues to grow. So, what is it about Star Trek that continues to grow, like adds new blood into this Trekkie fandom? I was like, I oh, no don't talk too fast. <laughs> no, I, was like, I, I got no clue. I think it sucks. I I personally think the newer stuff is pretty cool, and um, they have so much to build on. Right. Because think about it. There's, there's so much stuff that, as us, as humans, w- what we are, human. we haven't explored yet. So it's like, they're just You're humans? explorers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about I'm you. Sure I am. Uh, I'm sure I'm plural. But you know, <laughs> like, like, they can build on so much, and... Take some of the old with the new, put it together, right. and, you know, build on something. I know a lot of people were pissed off about the new stuff, like the, right. the original fan base. Right, right. But, but fuck those guys. Yeah, saying. fuck them guys. But, <laughs> but fuck them that. But I think there's a lot of things that happened in Star Trek which gave leeway to new things. Like, you know, Star Trek um, had a subspace, fe- a subspace feature. Which basically is you know, the faster than light thing. Uh-huh. Right, right. Um, so with that concept in mind, uh, you know, it made things like Stargate, Hitchh- Hitchhiker's Guides of the Galaxy, and decent um, free space. Um, basically wormholes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and notes. Yeah. And notes. And notes. And notes. And notes. Yeah, and my notes. notes have limits. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, what What I think that yeah. about the fandom of Star Trek is that. Oh, excuse me. Do you know the funny thing is that if you watch if you watch Star Trek and you watch enough of it, you start to realize, wait, I've seen something really similar to this in another show I watch. Whether it be uh, it might have just been more Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it be you know Stargate or Babylon Five, that's that's one another series. Um, or uh, we just said it with the Cylons. Jesus Christ, I can't remember anything. Battlestar Galactica, or or. Uh, the one with Serenity. Sure. Uh, Firefly. Firefly. You know, you, you start to, it, it, it kind of set up like the basis that this world, you, you start to think that maybe all these things live in the same world because you start to see a lot of the same wormhole right, and right. science. A lot of the references. Well, you see a lot of the f- familiar references. Right. And they might call it something different, but you're like, oh yeah, I get that. I so agree. I think I think what, what, what happens with, with Star Trek fans and why they, they, they the fandom is still so vibrant is because you might start off on one branch, right, and you end up finding your way coming to the tree of Star Trek. You end up, right. Yeah, okay. You might start watching uh, Firefly, 
And you're like, man, I really like a series based in space. What else can I watch? Yeah. And then you watch right. uh, Battlestar yeah, Galactic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a sci-fi and then you, category. Right. And then, you, yeah, yeah. and then you land on Star Trek. And Star Trek is kind of like the base. It's like yeah. what gives everything else its kind of life where you're like, oh, right. man. That makes sense. Right. I yeah. would like to point out that No Man's Sky is basically the, the up-to-date <laughs> Star Trek. By the way, uh, I'm going to be following up. That's the first uh, IGN first that I'm going to be following all month. Until it comes out. Just saying. Just saying. What's that? When uh, is it coming out? No Man's Sky. I mean, hopefully next month. I think this next month. Some of the whispers. I need to go to Games Have a pre-order. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really, really good. Anyway, we'll discuss No Man's Sky and how great that is. Another really episode. Good. But um, put a pin in it. Wait, is it yeah. multiplayer in there? Uh, it's kind of like online. Ooh, okay. So. So yeah, actually, there is kind of like a semi-multiplayer. Yeah. Well, we, you can yeah. go see other people, other we're, plans we're people discover own, shit. We'll form our own Trek team and then we'll just yeah, investigate I mean, each galaxy. It's something yeah. that we can discuss a little bit uh, in prep for maybe another show, maybe the next show. But um, it's definitely something that's worth talking about. Um, again, personally, I, I kind of think, you know, I, you, I think you put it in a very eloquent way where it's like you may not necessarily be a, a Trekkie, but you start off as, as a Guardians of the Galaxy fan and you look up more space stuff. I mean, that's happened to me on multiple occasions where... You know, I've watched, I, I've watched Rocky or whatever, right? And then I'm like, damn, man, that was, you know, that was pretty good. And I was like, you know what, I would like to see more boxing-related things or more fight-related things. And soon you end up in, like, looking at UFC and different things, and you kind of just continue to branch off and branch off until you find that one thing that really pulls you in, again, like Star Trek or something like that. Um, and I, that's, the, that's the best part about what we have available as far as technology is concerned. So you can find all these different iterations, if you will, of what you like. I also think that's the best thing of fandoms is that no fandom is ever com- completely whole onto itself. You know, if you're a Benedict Cumberbatch fan, oh yes, and Woo! you 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 watch Pine Nut, Pine Nut. If there's Cumberbitches and Pine Nuts, <laughs> you look so few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> fans or Cumberbitches <laughs> and Chris Pine's fans or Pine Nuts. <laughs> Because they're pi- not like the natural nuts, like they're pine no. nuts, and that's for pine. Chris Pine. No. I'm really not a pine nut. Could I'm you actually explain to him who Chris Pine is? Chris Pine is Captain Kirk in oh. the new <laughs> Pure Blue. I don't read what the actors' names are in these shows. You're, I just know their fucking character so wait, name Jay, on the show. You're a pine nut? No, no. I'm actually a cumber bitch. <laughs> a cumber bitch? Totally. So, no, but everyone's a cumber bitch. But How the, could you not be? But like so I was saying, dreamy. the great thing about. about <laughs> he grows and he has a grow on me. It took boy. three months for him to grow What? Did you wait? Did you watch uh, Shaw? I have all three seasons on my phone. But but three. look, that's that's the thing. It's three seasons. What if you saw Cumberbatch in, in uh, Star Trek, and then you're like, oh, I really like this actor, and then you see him in Star- and Sherlock, or and the then Hobbit. you see him in The Hobbit, oh, and then you're like, wait, this Hobbit yeah. thing is really cool. Maybe I want to watch the first three Lord right. of the Mo- Ring movies because I've been living on the rock and never saw them. Or the first two or, Hobbit movies. Or you know, I really like I'm the Jonathan, and I've never seen. The first three Lord of the Ring movies. Or the Hobbit movies. <laughs> Shut I've, seen all, I've actually seen you. all the Hobbit movies. I just haven't seen Because the Hobbit movies are really good. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> You're a I dick. Enjoy, I actually they are not good. They are still I not enjoy like the Hobbit movies. <laughs> no, but the point is, is that no fandom is an island onto itself. There's always some bridge to another fandom and another topic that you could get interested in. And I, I think that's the beauty of Star Trek is that... There, there are other things that lead back into it. That's cool. So no matter if you start out on the edge, you you might find your way to the middle. And that's how Trekkies continue to be a thing. Cool. I well, think- ladies and gentlemen, that is our show. Before we disperse into the galaxy far, far away. What? Teleport. Oops. Beam me up, Scotty. Uh, no, but before we before we wrap up, of course, you know, you got to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Like. Send us comments. Please don't hate us too much for getting all everything wrong in this show. No, I mean we want we all got much wrong in this show. Now we 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 push kind of fucked up. We do what we usually do. We get things wrong and then we kind of laugh at it. We push the boundaries of like (laughs) we push the what the fuck boundary. Mm -hmm. Uh, But yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Reddit, LinkedIn. I think we're on LinkedIn. Jonathan, do that. (laughs) Uh, LinkedIn. Hey, somebody might want to work for us. But uh, that's one for free intern. Oh, 100 proof we geek. could use some interns. We could use somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> uh, 100 Proof Geek. 100 Proof Geek. That's a good place to go check us out. This is the website. And uh, send us all your requests and questions at askgeek. That's A-S-K-G-E-E-K at 100proofgeek.com. Thank you, David. What is it? Send Vic his, no. his dick pics. No, no, no. Vic's dick pics. That's Vic's To be fair, disclaimer. Disclaimer. I don't know much about Star Trek. 
So, <laughs> so you can have my with dick pics. <laughs> no, dick pics. Dick's pics. No. We'll get him some green dick pics and some. What, what's the one with the V on the head? <laughs> we'll get him some clean on big dick pics. Uh, and then the question of the week is. Um, how do you feel? Did you like the older stuff versus the newer stuff? And would you entertain or would you uh, not really care to see a, a new Star Trek TV show? Be kind of interested in the year, what your thoughts are, and uh, send this out to us on the, on the websites. On the thing, what stuff? Whoever sent me dick pics, I'm going to I'm gonna report them to the FBI's child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You know, you know if, if that's pics. a false report, then now you do time. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> The problem is that when you say je ne sais quoi, it's I don't know what. Yeah. Right. So It adds a I don't know what. That doesn't really <clears throat> feel much better about your French. And your ha-ha. Je ne sais quoi. Anyway, anyway. IDK. Anyway. So okay. his ha-ha. <clears throat> so in okay. French, is IDK JSQ? The fuck? Je ne sais quoi?